centuries, the royal standard has signaled the presence of the queen. It's always raised her arrival wherever she goes. At the palace, it's the task of the flag sergeant. She's been away since the end of July. Today was her first day back in London.
which is a very small test, right, I won't take it all the way to the top, but uh, I affectionately call this our white knuckle ride. Today's investiture will honour a hundred people. Each is allowed three guests. Among the recipients is sheep farmer George Hughes. He's being made a member of the Order of the British Empire, or MBE. I've been getting more and more nervous every day. And last night I, I wouldn't say a word. <laughs> Good morning. It's the unknown, isn't it? You've got to go up to receive it and uh, you hope you don't stumble or something. Those are the sort of things you think about. If I need a hanky, I shall call on you. Did is that right? When I opened the letter six weeks before, it's quite an impressive letter. It comes from 10 Downing Street, of course, and then all the invitations come from St. James's Palace. So the postman gets very impressed. <laughs> Good morning, Stephen. Hello. Stephen Marshall, the yeoman of the glass cellars, has spent 30 years working at the palace, so he knows the form. Today, he's here as the Queen's guest to be appointed a member of the Royal Victorian Order. I'm getting nervous now, yeah. Well, it's different being on the other side coming through the doors, you know, and seeing the people you know talking to you, telling you where to go, basically. 